With the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Jadavian Clowney, defensive end, South Carolina. Jadavion Clowney, the 6 foot 5, 270 pound defensive end out of South Carolina, was drafted number one overall. But has he lived up to the pick? Clowney was a top prospect in college. Going to the draft as the number one ranked defensive end, he had the power and speed to be dominant. But going to his junior year of college, he only had three sacks. He was looked at as a physical freak, but he also needed some work done to his game. And Clowney made a play that gained the attention of the whole nation. Pressure! Clowney just dives in! Hits the defender, the ball's on the ground! The Gamecocks have it! The Gamecocks have it! The Gamecocks take it over! Clowney just... Now the Texans came into the draft at 2-14 and, and they needed a franchise player and wish they already had one in J.J. Watt who had two 20 sack seasons in a three year span and also won two defensive player of the year awards and was even a candidate for league MVP. In my personal opinion, I think the Texans seen how JJ Watt was playing out of his mind and wanted to pair him with another talented pass rusher in Clowney. During his rookie year, a knee injury caused Clowney to miss pretty much the whole season. And in 2015, he got the ball rolling. He suffered a few minor injuries, but managed to still play in 13 games and started in nine of them and totaled 4.5 sacks. Nothing special considering coming off an injury can change how you play. In 2016, still couldn't shake the injury bug off, but he played 14 games racking up six sacks and 40 tackles. Now at this point, Clowney is making great progression in the right direction and his best season has yet to come. The Texans finished 9-7 making the playoffs. But to give credit when it's due, Clowney dominated against the Patriots in a divisional round. He was everywhere. The dude couldn't be blocked. I really thought he was going to single-handedly win the game with the way he was playing. And the whole Texans defense played great that game. They could have won if they would have had a lick of offense. Brock Osweiler was terrible. He went 23-40 for 197 yards with one touchdown and three interceptions. He really stunk it up. In 2017, he had a semi-breakout year. Yes, it was his best year, but the fact that he's still a number one pick, I think he just could have done just a little bit better. Don't get it twisted, Clowney is a beast, but it just wasn't an eye-opener season for me. He racked up two forced fumbles, 9.5 sacks, 41 tackles, 21 tackles for loss. Now, I know some of y'all might think that's a good season. Well, yeah, it is. He just could have gained at least about two to four more sacks, and then, you know, his season would have been great. While Clowney is finding his way as a pro, J.J. Watt has had a few injury problems himself. In 2016, he injured his back, causing him to miss 14 games that season. In the very next season, he suffered a fracture left tibia and missed 12 games. The Texans have had Clowney and Watt on the field at the same time as much as they wanted to, the whole point of Clowney being drafted. Heading into the 2018 season, I believe it's a make or break year for Clowney. He's in the last year of his contract, although he has a fifth year option. They just haven't gotten number one pick production. If the Texans were to redraft, I'm sure they would go in another direction with the pick. They could have got Derek Carr because Matt Schott wasn't getting the job done. And even if they were to still draft the defensive player, Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald were also in the draft class as well. And both have won defensive player of the year and proved to wreck offenses. It seems that the Texans let the hit against Michigan be the determining factor in their decision. I understand that the Texans run at 3-4 and Clowney has had to play linebacker at times. We all heard how great he is against the run, but they don't draft edge rushers number one overall just to play well against the run. He definitely has the talent, it just needs to be shown more consistently. I'm sure Clowney has emerged as a leader in the locker room. He's a good player, he just needs to have a monster season. Because players like Joey Bosa have already been productive right out the gate. But on a good note, he's only 25 and can only get better as time goes on. He definitely is a late bloomer and still has big shoes to fill.